Humanity faced imminent destruction on Earth as an extraterrestrial fleet relentlessly attacked, pushing the world to the edge of extinction. The celestial realm, previously adorned with divine splendors, was now engulfed in the tumultuous clash of warfare. The alien spacecraft, with their glossy hulls emitting a mysterious gleam, unleashed barrages of energy at the planet's defenses. Humanity, which was overpowered and overshadowed by this superior technical prowess, made arrangements for what was believed to be its final defense. However, within the prevailing sense of despair, there was a faint ray of hope that persisted, personified by the resolute determination of Dr. Lena Archer. Dr. Archer, a nonconformist who specialized in the convergence of science and military tactics, adamantly resisted surrendering to what seemed like an inevitable result. She worked diligently on a secretive project that had attracted criticism from top military officials while being secluded in her laboratory deep beneath the Earth's surface. Nevertheless, her resolve remained steadfast, mirroring the unyielding strength of the planet's fortifications during the ongoing siege. Externally, the world seemed to be a platform for profound despair. The courageous soldiers of humanity fearlessly faced the menace presented by extraterrestrial beings, demonstrating unwavering resolve. Armored vehicles traversed the devastated terrains, their artillery resounding with defiance as they confronted the streamlined and nearly impregnable extraterrestrial mechs. The confrontation pitted David against Goliath, with the Earth's slingshot armed just with ammunition and courage. The resilience of mankind was evident during this disaster. While navigating covertly in the shadows, guerrilla factions sabotaged extraterrestrial supply routes by leveraging their own technology against the invaders. By employing their digital manipulation techniques, Hackers successfully penetrated extraterrestrial communications, so causing confusion and discord. Scientists were engaged in a race against time in their secret laboratories, using their superior knowledge to outsmart the powerful extraterrestrial rather than directly confronting its strength. Their imaginations were filled with the concept of turning the tide of the fight. It was during these seemingly unimportant hours that an unexpected factor entered the mix. A defected extraterrestrial beckoned Dr. Archer, enthralled by the indomitable essence of humanity. Juren, the extraterrestrial, not only provided invaluable information concerning the alien Armeda, but also conveyed a message of unity that transcended the boundaries of the universe. Project Resilience's unveiling marked a pivotal moment in the ongoing cosmic conflict. Dr. Archer's greatest accomplishment was not a typical weapon or shield, but rather a testament to human creativity and unwavering determination. Project Resilience has the potential to transform the human spirit into a tangible force by harnessing a groundbreaking blend of artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and a newly found form of energy called essence. The initial field test of this technology was a high-stakes gamble to avoid complete failure. A determined volunteer team embarked on a mission to the heart of the alien fleet, well aware of the risks involved and prepared to sacrifice their lives. Their goal was to seize the flagship, which acted as the central command of the alien invasion and was crucial for their disorganized withdrawal in case it was seized. The raid was an alarming expedition through a desert of blazing energy and mechanical abominations. The encounter was quite unpleasant. Every advancement was achieved through significant sacrifices that will have a lasting impact on the records of human history. However, Project Resilience was launched precisely when the flagship, which represented the suppression of aliens, was becoming increasingly prominent. It had an instantaneous and substantial effect on the situation. The participants were completely immersed in the quintessence field, which was powered by the combined determination and resolve of humanity. This sphere provided them with protection and improved their abilities beyond the limitations of their physical bodies. It seemed as though the fundamental nature of humanity's fight, its sadness, and its optimism had been turned into a weapon as if this event had indeed taken place. The unforeseen force resulted in the alien flagship plummeting from the sky, resembling a meteor of shattered hopes. This power took it by surprise. Right after the flagship was destroyed, the alien armada plunged into chaos. Thanks to this victory and the valuable information provided by Xeran, 
The defenders of Earth were able to gain an advantage and sustain their battle. The succeeding events entailed an unyielding counter-assault, an escalating display of human resistance that persisted until the last extraterrestrial vessel was eradicated from the atmosphere. After the battle, when the world emerged from the darkness, Dr. Archer stood beneath the night sky, devoid of any previous violence. Unconcerned observers of the suffering that the Earth had endured, the stars shimmered in the nocturnal expanse. Dr. Archer recognized that while humans may not have excelled in technology, their unwavering determination, unity, and resourcefulness had been their most significant asset. This epiphany occurred to him as he contemplated the price of triumph. The tale of Earth's resistance against the alien invasion served as a symbol of hope, perseverance, and unwavering determination to endure, captivating audiences worldwide. This incident served as a reminder that despite encountering an overwhelming state of darkness, humanity had the ability and determination to discover a solution that would guide them toward progress. The last stand of the unyielding Earth represented more than just the triumph of one world over another. It symbolized the victory of the human spirit, of the indomitable essence that defines humanity.